All right, so let's look at yet another question on the principle of moments. All right, so in this question, we'll be looking at a word problem and we'll be converting the word problem into a diagram by itself. Okay, the question here says a weight of 1000 gram hangs from a lever 20 cm to the right of the fulcrum. At the left is a 500 gram weight 20 cm from the fulcrum and a 200 gram weight xcm that's an unknown distance from the fulcrum what is the value of x that will make the lever balanced okay so how do we solve this um for a question like this now one of the things to notice that you're given the mass in gram and the distance in centimeter observe that all the distances here are in centimeters which means you don't readily have to convert all right it's it you could convert but then it's not necessary also observe that all the weights they call the weight but here we're giving masses instead and all the masses you have this one here 1000 in grams this one here 500 in grams this one here 200 in grams they are all in grams which means you don't readily have to convert so we could solve using grams and cm it's still okay all right all right with that said let's get straight to this question here all right, let me take the question again. A weight of mass, 1,000 grams, hangs from a lever, 20 cm, to the right of the fulcrum. Okay, so first things first, I, let's take this as the lever here. And the fulcrum is simply your knife edge. Uh, let's say we have this, let's say we have here as my knife edge. Okay, we said we have um, a weight of 100 grams, 20 cm, to the right of the fulcrum. So here's my fulcrum. Um, talking about my right, this is the right of the fulcrum. Okay, that's the right hand side of the fulcrum. Set 20 cm to the right of it. So I'll come here. I'll just take this point here. Okay, this the mass there is 1000 grams. So I have 1000 grams. Okay, and distance from this point to this point here, we'll call this 20. From here to here, we said the distance there was 20 cm. Okay, so 20 in centimeters. Okay, let's proceed with this. Um, that's to the right of the fulcrum. Now they said at the left is 500 gram, 500 gram with 20 cm from the fulcrum. So at the left, we see another 20 cm from this, but this time the given mass is 500 grams. So here we have, let's say this, this is 500, 500 grams this way, hanging from this to this, okay, uh, let me do this, so this to this, alright, and the distance here, they said it's still 20 cm, so we still have another 20 cm mass. Then finally, from here, they said, and it's 200 gram weight XCM. Now, record that this 200 gram weight having XCM was mentioned when they said at the left. So it was after they said at the left that they mentioned the 200 gram weight at XCM. So that means this weight will be at the left. So the left hand side, um, just come here. Okay, so somewhere around here. We we'll do this as 200. This is 200. Um, 200 gram weight. Distance is XCM. It's an unknown distance. So from here, we'll go up there. And um, having this also from here, going up here, having this um, distance from here to here. I said it's about XCM. It's an unknown distance. We we'll call this XCM. You have to find the this the value of x for this to be balanced now before we solve this uh, one of the things to note is that you could still come here you could still come here and put like you can place x before the 500 gram like you can come here and still put this as 200 gram and call this x like this distance and you literally have the same thing at the end all right so if you, whether you choose to place the 200 gram here this part here that's after the 500 gram or this part here uh, to the left side of the 500 gram you still have the same answer okay all right so basically this is the diagram for the question 
we're asked to find the value of x here. As usual, um, our tax here would be to use the principle of moments, which says that the sum of moments, that's the sum of clockwise moments, sum of um, clockwise, of clockwise moments, it's equal to the sum of anti-clockwise, okay, so sum of anti clockwise moments. So you have this. All right, so let's get the clockwise for this. Let's identify which is clockwise moments and which is anti-clockwise moment. We discussed this concept in our previous class. All right, we said if the moment goes according to the hands of a clock, that's this way, it's a clockwise moment. But if it goes against the hands of a clock or in this direction, it's called an anti-clockwise moment. All right, let's pick out clockwise and anti-clockwise moments. Let's start with the 200 grams. 200 gram is going, if I trace this, this the concept is just simply trace this down. I'll trace this down, follow this direction, it's going this way. And this is going against the hands of a clock. So this becomes an anti-clockwise moment, 200 gram. 500 gram is going downwards this way, towards, of course, it's always towards the fulcrum, this point here. Okay, this is a fulcrum there. Um, this is going against the hands of the clock. So it also becomes an anti-clockwise moment. So 500 is also anti-clockwise moment. 1000 is going downwards towards this point here, the fulcrum there. And that becomes a clockwise moment. So clockwise because it's going towards the direction of the clock or according to the hands of a clock. So I have this. All right. So for clockwise moment, I have just 1000. So it becomes 1000 in grams multiplied by the distance. For this, we can see that the distance here is 20 cm. All right. So it becomes times 20 cm. So this into 20, that's a clockwise, is equal to, for anti-clockwise, the first thing we have here is 500 grams. So I have the 500 gram mass or weight and the distance between the 500 gram to the fulcrum, that's this part here, is simply 20 cm. So this times 20, 500 times 20. Let's also add this to, we have a second anti-clockwise, which is simply 200 gram mass and the distance from 200 to the fulcrum is x cm. So it becomes 200 times x. So this into... 200 times x so i have this all right let's simplify this um if you punch this 1000 multiplied by 20 um 1000 times 20 that should give you about 20000 so i have this as 20000 20000 it's equal to you have 500 times 20 that gives about 10000 so this is 10000 plus 200 times x gives you 200 x all right, so we have this value. Um, of course, we'll move this over here. So it becomes 20,000 minus 10,000. It's equal to, I'm left with 200x. 20,000 minus 10,000 gives you about 10,000. So we have that 10,000. It's equal to 200x. To find the value of x, I'll divide this and also divide this by the coefficient of x which is 200 divide this also by 200 this cancels this so x is equal to if you punch 10,000 over 20 you have your answer over 200 you have your answers there as 50 all right 50 um, the distance was in centimeters so becomes 50 centimeters as your answer so the answer to this question is 50 centimeters okay all right, don't forget, you can always get more classes like this on physics, chemistry, mathematics, all right, on my website, www.jonahimani.com forward slash courses, okay? I've prepared over 100 classes on physics, chemistry, mathematics, and other science courses, all right? For each of these subjects, I've prepared over 100 videos, including past question revision for each of the major topics, okay? Um, to get a lifetime access to these courses, visit my website www.jonahimana.com forward slash courses and you can create an account with the website. Okay, so register an account to the website and then you can proceed to get the courses. 
You can also get it from my channel membership, all right? So visit my channel membership. I'll leave a link to join my jam slash YEC class channel membership in the video description, all right? So check the video description for the link to my website or to the channel membership, all right? All right, guys. Um, so as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and leave a comment. For the comments, if you have a question, leave the question in the comment section. Um, don't forget to also don't forget to also subscribe to this channel all right if it's your first time or if you're yet to subscribe please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload a new content finally don't forget to share this video to your friends so they can also learn thank you and see you in our next class